The political party registry announced yesterday that they have begun the learning and development plan program which will run until 2017. Registrar Dr. Alphonse Gelu said the commission introduced this activity for party executives to be competent in submitting their annual returns and election expenses. He said many of the political parties who failed to do so were smaller parties who lacked financial capability and parliament representation. After the provision that parties with less than five members in parliament should dissolve and join other parties was rejected by NEC on grounds of democracy, the commission has called on Papua New Guineans who intend to register political parties to be realistic. In terms of policies, in terms of membership, okay, in terms of your financial capability and so forth, that's the first one. And secondly, what impact would your political party make to the development of this country? So those are two very important questions that citizens must consider before they can think about forming a political party because we don't want to find the situation that now we are going through. He said this criterion will prevent leaders and political parties from facing possible prosecution for failing to comply with the organic law by not submitting annual returns and election expenses. Meantime, members of parliament and political parties have been given until August 31, 2013 to submit annual returns and election expenses as well as pay their penalty fines for late submissions. Salome Vincent, National MTV News.